So I've been having a problem with the Prusa. I've had it about two years now, just a little shy of two years. And now when I, I notice when I print something, uh, first the prints uh, for PETG, which is 80 degrees, uh, 85 degrees and 90 degrees in the Prusa slicer <clears throat> for, the, for the heated bed. When I tried printing it, first I, I wouldn't be able to print. I was having a failed print and then I noticed that uh, it wouldn't complete the mesh bed leveling. And then I, I, I noticed that when I heat the, uh, heated, the heated bed up, uh, if it goes past 60 degrees, then the, the, the spring plate starts to warp and it creates a hump right in the center uh, from between 60 and 80 and it gets worse from there. So I have the uh, I'm going to bring the bed temperature up to 100 Celsius and record this so I can show what it is doing. And I will speed this up to show the progression of the warp as, as it goes through the temperature range. Now this <coughs> this rule is set two millimeters above the heated bed, and <coughs> I'm confident that that much warping will cause the mesh bed leveling to fail because it's not expecting an area of the of the uh, plate to be that far above the the heated bed visible the 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 hump now like I said this this is two millimeters above and if I just gently push down on here you can see that this 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 is significantly warped so I am very confident that I have a problem with the heated bed. I went to Prusa's knowledge base and got um, the specs to test the uh, the heated bed and it said to bring it up to PLA temperatures and measure the voltage and it's supposed to be around 24 and that came out just fine and then it said and then the next step was check the resistance of the heated bed it's supposed to be 3.5 to 4.0 ohms and it was 7 ohms and that pretty much told me that there's probably an issue with this heated bed 
Now, I did contact Prusa Tech Support and gave them everything I had done. Um, and he is just absolutely fixated on there being an issue with the pin to sensor's height. And I actually did his first recommendation, which was to do a complete factory reset of the printer and adjust the readjust. He said he could tell by looking at the video that I made that it was too high. Well, I took the original uh, uh, zip tie that they included and I reset it and it was actually set. I mean, it was it was right on and I, I lowered it just a little bit anyways and uh, re, re factory reset the whole unit, ran through the whole startup cycle. Um, it did all of its uh, positioning and calibration, and it's still doing this. Um, and I said, uh, I said, well, you know, that's not it. And he came back and said, and I, and I had actually made a video similar to this showing the progress of this hump and sent that to him. I don't know if he watched it, um, but he came back and said, uh, he still thinks the pinda sensor is too high and to lower it down again <clears throat> and for me to completely remove the heated bed and ensure it was properly installed with the spacers and put it back down and retighten it and I'm not going to do that because <laughs> I assembled this thing two years ago and it's been working great for almost two years before this issue and um, you know if you're not convinced that this isn't a problem then I don't know what to say. So I ordered a new heated bed. I'm waiting for it to come in. When it comes in, I am going to um, install it and then complete this video. And then there's one other thing that I, I want to demonstrate. And I have a thermal camera here. Uh, and I am going to take a picture of this with the thermal camera. And I'll show you what the thermal camera shows and what I think is probably an issue here <clears throat> so that's where I am right now and I will continue and post this video when I get the new one in and install it Okay, as you can see by that thermal image that I put up, the heat of the bed plate was specifically in two regions on the left and right. That's where all the heat was concentrated. And, uh, you know, that told me from the beginning that, you know, if you, if you concentrate heat in two particular areas, of a, of, a, of a sheet, of a metal sheet, then, uh, you know, the, the part that, that gets the, the majority of the heat are going to expand and the remainder of it will, will expand but not as fast as it heats up. And that's what another thing that kind of gave me the clue that the bed was uh, not, not functioning properly. So here we are now, I've got uh, the new original heated bed in from Prusa. I've got it installed. I've run the printer through the factory reset and all the calibration procedures and did my my first layer cal. Um, so this is a PETG. Uh, presently the the bed is at 85 degrees and it's laying down the first layer. There's no warping. It's nice and nice and flat and it's laying the First layer down nice on this little test piece, this block that I've got printing here. So, it obviously was the malfunctioning uh, heated bed. Um, so I guess the lesson for me is, um, number one, uh, I think I did the right things. I, I, I did the, uh, the power check and the resistance check to the heated bed. The power check came out right, the resistance check uh, was about twice what the specifications called for, which told me, you know, it's probably bad. And then um, the other thing that that I guess I could have avoided was calling Prusa or uh, emailing Prusa Tech Support because, um, you know, they just, uh, he, the guy, you know, I think that he's just 
uh, working with people who have just installed, just assembled their printers and are having problems. And I, I, it seems to me like he's got like a flow chart or a checklist that he's just going down. Now I put in my original email uh, what exactly what I had done as far as the, the electronic testing, the, the, the resistance of the heat bed. <clears throat> and I put a video in there showing, I put a picture showing the warpage of the heat bed like I did in the beginning of this video. And I put a video showing the progression of the heat bed warping as the temperature heats up. Now I don't know if he even watched that or paid attention. And I also put a thermal image of the heat bed in that initial email. And uh, he just seems fixated on it being the Pinda sensor and that the Pinda sensor, there's something wrong with that. Um, he, he said in the last email when, he, when he, he was telling me to, you know, basically remove and reinstall the heated bed that uh, it's unusual what's going on and that the heat of the bed shouldn't affect the Pinda sensor. I mean, normally that would make sense. But since the heat of the bed warps the sheet, and I measured that warpage, and it was about a millimeter and a half, that will affect wh where the properly functioning Pinda sensor is sensing that the uh, level of the sheet and make it fault out. So, um, I, I after the the second correspondence from him, I I didn't, you know, I I figured if if I remove the uh, remove or, or reseed or readjust the uh, heated bed, I might as well just swap it out because I was 99% sure at that point that that was the problem. So as you can see, it was the problem um, and my, my instincts were right that, that those two isolated areas on the right and left side where the heat was, was causing the bed to, the, the, the spring sheet to warp and causing the uh, the mesh bed leveling to fail. Um, so that is uh, what happened. Um, so I'm going to post this video um, and I'm also going to see if I can make a post in the Prusa knowledge base just to let people know, hey, if this happens. Now, I think my thermal images are pretty telling and I'm going to put the thermal image of the properly functioning heated bed on this video. So if anybody is troubleshooting or having problems such as I have had, because I really didn't find a whole lot of information about this specific issue, um, then, they, then hopefully they can uh, take a look at what I found out. And if they have access to a uh, thermal imaging camera, then uh, you know, that, that I think will really tell the story. That un uneven heating causes problems with the, with the uh, with the warpage of the spring sheet. So that's my adventure with the Prusa heated bed. And I will say over the course of the time that I've had this printer, it's been a great printer. I've, I've used it, I've had it two years, I've used it. I've made all kinds of things with it. I, I do my own drawings um, and I, I make uh, uh, unique, uh, you know, kind of invention type things, uh, functional things. And this has been just invaluable and, and, and to note I have already pre-ordered the Prusa XL the big 14 by 14 inch uh, unit that they have and uh, I'm looking forward to playing around with that and doing some bigger stuff so I like the Prusa and I really didn't mind uh, having to replace the bed and the only I'd say negative experience with this was um, you know the tech support kind of uh, I don't know, being, I don't know, I just kind of got the feeling that he disregarded what I had put in the original email and, and uh, was just, you know, trying to focus on, you know, I guess what they see uh, in, in uh, machines that people put together and they put it together and then they run into issues. So uh, that's my story and here is the thermal image of the print bed as it should be. Thanks for watching.